I look like I'm about to. I, I look like Manny Pacquiao's like right before he went. He's like he like goes to fight, and I look like like his entourage or something. Okay, anyways. So if you've been watching my vlogs and you've seen that we've been in the Philippines for the past three weeks and I'll, although I got to do some cool experiences like swimming with whale sharks, I got to spend a lot of time um, going swimming and like seeing all of the beautiful things, the beautiful beaches, riding a gondola ride with my cousin because I have... I'm not dating anyone. That's not the main reason that we went to the Philippines. You see, both my parents wanted to take their children, me and my sisters, back to their little hometown in the Philippines. It's a little, 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 little town in the Philippines. Although my mom has been back to the Philippines a couple times of every few years, my dad hasn't been back in almost 20 years. 20 years is a long time. I'll be in school for about three months and I come home and I see little changes in my neighborhood and it freaks me out because I missed out on all of the things that happened here. But my dad hasn't been back in 20 years. So that means this town has changed a lot since, in, since he's been back. So naturally I ask him if he ever misses home. Hey dad. What? Do you ever like miss the Philippines at all? No. Like your friends? No. Your house? No. You don't miss anything about the Philippines? When I go back to the Philippines when I have everything I need here. I have my beautiful home. I have my wife. I have my three children who don't listen to me. I have my radio talk shows and I have Rod Stewart. I like Rod Stewart. <laughs> Even though my dad says he has everything he needs here in America, it was still nice to see him like going through photo albums, visiting his childhood home. home that's supposedly haunted. He was so happy and he just had this feeling of nostalgia anywhere we went in his hometown. And for him, that's like the greatest thing ever. But for me, it was, although it was cool to see where my parents grew up, my home is not the Philippines, it's in America. I don't know what it's like to live, I don't know what it's like the same, I don't know what it's like to live the life that my parents did in the Philippines. There was always, there was always this weird unseen cultural tension that I like kind of felt whenever I was there. I didn't necessarily feel Filipino, which rattled me a little bit because I take a lot of pride in my cultural heritage. But the more I think about it, the more I realize I don't know what it's like to live in the Philippines. For example, my Lola keeps her door open all the time. From dawn to dusk, she keeps her door open. She welcomes anyone who comes in. Just walk by, come in, sit down, eat, talk, and it's like, no problem. Whereas if I'm at home, my door is locked. <laughs> if someone knocks on the door, I don't know who it is. I don't know what could happen. I don't want the awkward social interaction. That's just, you know. Someone's at the door. Although I'm proud of my cultural heritage, I don't know what it's like to live there. I don't know what it's like to ride a boat to get to places. I don't know what it's like to go to a market to get fresh, to get groceries each and every day. I go to the supermarket, to the Walmart closest to me, which even then takes a car to get there in a in about 15 minutes. And although my parents were from the Philippines, the first language I ever learned was English, and it's the only, um, not the only language. I took Spanish three years in high school. It was a little weird. Don't really know how to speak Spanish that much anymore. Anyway, side note. It also made me think about why did my parents move to America? Whether it's your parents or your grandparents or your great 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 grandparents, it's most likely that they came for the same reason as most immigrants do. They want a better life. Although America has had its problems in the past and in the present and probably in the future, it's still seen as a land of opportunity and it's the reason my parents moved from the Philippines to America. It took being out of America to realize how much being American is a big part of my identity. From the Philippines to America, they brought on their own set of values, cultures, traditions, and practices back in America into this household that I've lived in for almost 20 years. With those practices that my parents use, They've created kind of an environment where I get to experience somewhat of a Filipino culture while also experiencing a different culture outside of the household. So I get to experience a Filipino culture through the food I eat, eating 
Like, why my friends question? Why my friends questioning why I eat rice every day? Or the fact that I don't call my aunts and uncles aunts and uncles and I have to call them titos and titas. And when I was younger, I had to ask them for their bless. I had to bless. Ask. I had to have them. I had to bless their hand whenever I first saw them. Jen, go make rice. I gotta eat it with my salad. I'm trying to get healthy. Jen! I'm right here. Oh. Go cook rice. And although we take pride in our cultural heritage, and we take pride in the idea of the diversity that we have, of the diversity that we do have in America, we don't. We over the. We overlook the idea that deep down inside, we're all Americans. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yes. Deep down, I am still an American, and though I wear my Filipino pride, my Filipino pride proudly on my sleeve, forget that I'm an American, an American, an Asian American, and I'm proud to be an Asian American. Whoever started the story of America in your family, you are in the place that has its own unique benefits. Getting to experience different cultures in a more intimate way, building in, building relationships with people of different backgrounds, different cultures, different beliefs. It's, uh, although America does have this um, this ongoing thing right now of what is of cultural tension, we can't deny the fact that we are in a place of we are in a place that is full of diversity. To see that we're all, although we're all different, we are one and the same, and that we're all American. If it weren't for my parents picking up their stuff and starting a completely different life in a completely different country, I wouldn't be here saying thank you. Thank you for allowing me to see different parts of a bigger story. Story that happens thousands of miles away where my heritage come from, comes from. And having the story of America be part of my identity. And if you think about it, this is all one big complex story of culture and changing and on asking ourselves, where do we go from here? What are your thoughts on this? Where did your story in America start? Did it start with your parents, like mine did? Your grandparents? Or did it start with your great, 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 your many great grandparents, or whoever started it? Thanks guys for watching and uh, letting me talk this out as I figure out my own, my own thing. Subscribe down below if you want to be notified of more of my videos. I make videos every week. Give this video a like. Again, leave a comment down below telling me what you think, what you thought of this video. And, um, I think that's it. Okay, bye guys.